Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video more or less stating the purpose of this channel and what I'm trying to do. So I'm super frugal and I build PCs for super cheap. As cheap as I can get it and have a functioning part or one that I can fix, then I'm going to do that. So here's my setup. This is the only thing, well these are the only three items that I bought brand new. It was a 1440p Asus monitor. G502 wireless mouse and then some Corsair lap board because I'm a nomad and never know when I'm not going to have a desk like right now. <clears throat> so this is my PC. I know it's hard to see with the reflection but it's uh, an ASRock X570M Pro 4 motherboard with a Ryzen 7 3700X CPU that I found on eBay for $50 because it had like two bent pins which was a very quick fix. Three minutes and a razor blade and I was up and running with a $50 CPU that should have been at least twice that price. Even though it's old, it still is perfectly fine for every task that I use it for. Um, it's an H90 Corsair AIO on it, which is from like a million years ago. We got it in push-pull. Everything works fine. Even though it only had like a five-year warranty, here we are over 10 years later. Um, that's 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. Yes, I could have got faster RAM, but uh, it the other... RAM is barely slower and it was considerably cheaper. Like all 32 gigs for about 30 bucks. It's also worth mentioning I bought it from two different kits and even though I've heard several times that um, you're not supposed to do that and that it works weird, it doesn't seem to work weird with me. They're both the same speed, same brand. I wouldn't see why there'd be a problem. And then that's our Sapphire Nitro Plus Radeon RX 6700 XT that I got for $225 after shipping off eBay because somebody said they mined on it and everyone was scared of it. I've had zero problems. Temps are super good for an air-cooled card and everything runs actually probably better than it's supposed to a little bit. <clears throat> Also, underneath this here is a 750 watt power supply, which is more than what I need. Also, also, yes, I know there's tape on there, and I don't care because it's got this random cord for RGB, and I don't like it, and my friend wouldn't let me cut it, so I was like, fine, I'll just tape it, it'll look bad, and I don't give a shit. It's fine. And then the case only cost me 30 bucks. It's a nice Cooler Master case. I think people have complained about Cooler Master before, but I haven't had any issues. So that's more or less my goal here, is to try to help people build their computers if they have any problems with just anything. If I can help, then I will help try to get you up and running or get you fixed. I'm also going to start building PCs for other people here pretty soon. I do have one customer, my very first customer, and so that should go pretty well. I just have to get a few more parts. Hope you guys have a great time. <clears throat> Watch my stuff. Maybe it'll be productive. Later.